Hey y'all, it's Stacy. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're making a recipe that is super easy, but it's also sure to impress your guests. We're kicking out the can this year because we're making homemade cranberry sauce. To start, I've got a 12 ounce bag of cranberries. And what's great about cranberries is even though we can only buy them one time of year, you can take this whole bag, pop it right in the freezer, and when you're ready to use them, take them out, rinse them off, and they're ready to go. Super simple. What I've done here is I've rinsed these and kind of sorted through to make sure there weren't any bad ones. In a saucepan here, I'm gonna put my 12 ounce bag. That equates to about four cups. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of orange juice. I've got half a cup of just white granulated sugar. And I've got half a cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. I'm gonna turn this on medium. And folks, the hard work is done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. Our cranberries are gonna heat through, they're gonna burst. So when you hear that bursting, know that that's okay. What's gonna happen is, Cranberries are high in pectin, and as those cook and burst, that pectin is gonna come out. It's gonna thicken up your cranberry sauce and give it tons of great flavor too. A couple things to keep in mind. It's gonna thicken more as it cools. So if it looks a little thin as you're cooking it, just give it some time. Now, the other thing that we often hear about cranberry sauce is, especially when you make it homemade, is that it might often have a bitter flavor. Just like wine, Cranberries have tannins, and that's that bitter flavor that we taste when we taste a homemade cranberry sauce. To mitigate that, there are a couple things that we can do. What I'm gonna do is once these cook, it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes. At the very end, I'm gonna add a little salt. That will help. Some folks say that a pinch of baking soda will help reduce some of that acid in there. The other thing that I always do in terms of making homemade cranberry sauce is make it in advance. Not only is that gonna save you time the day of, but allowing it to age, the flavor of those tannins is gonna to lower too, so you're not gonna taste that bitterness quite as much. So making it in advance is great because it saves you the time and you're gonna have an improved flavor. We're gonna let these cook and I'll show you what this is gonna look like in just a second. So these have been cooking for about five minutes and you might be able to hear them burst a little and you can see in here where they're starting to burst open your sauce is gonna to start to thicken at this point. We're gonna let this cook for about five more minutes. All right, so this has been cooking for about 10 minutes. You can see that it's thickened up beautifully. It's got a great dark, deep red color. Like I said before, to mitigate some of that bitterness, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt here. And that's it. Allowing this to cool, it's gonna thicken even more than this. And you have a couple options here too. So this makes what you would call a whole berry cranberry sauce. If you don't want the skins and the other pieces of berry in there, you could certainly strain this through a fine mesh sieve or a strainer. Put this in the fridge, it'll keep for 10 days, or you can freeze it for up to six months. Folks, it's a super easy recipe with just a handful of ingredients. You can find it by heading over to the website at southernbite.com and just searching easy cranberry sauce. Y'all enjoy. Mm -hmm. 